everyone in today's video we will be making some stuffed gray snapper now let's get into the video now here's what i'm using to put this recipe together here i have my snapper and this is a piece of gray snapper i couldn't find the red snapper so i'm using a piece of gray snapper i have here a pack of sazan and in my plate i have some garlic powder, onion powder, garlic salt, complete seasoning, paprika, chief, fish seasoning, and some chief all-purpose seasoning. I also am going to use some black pepper. I'm also going to use some extra virgin olive oil. You can use any oil of your choice. Now, in my plate here, I have some thinly sliced veggies, carrots, onion, jalapeno pepper, pimento pepper, and this is just for flavor. The jalapeno will give it a little bit of heat. And I also have here some sliced red bell pepper. Now, I'm gonna put this on the side here. Now, here I have some baby pak choy. You can use any spinach or any green leaves of your choice. Now, I'm just gonna place this on the side a bit, and I'm going to grab myself a small bowl. Now I grab myself a small bowl that I will combine all my dry ingredients together. So you want to start by adding in your sazan here and I'm using the light color of um, sazan and you want to add in all your dry ingredients here and now I'm going to go in with three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to mix to make sure that all the ingredients are combined. Now that everything is nicely incorporated here, we will put this on the side and we'll bring our fish back. Now what I'm going to do is season my fish on top of this foil paper here. Now before I start seasoning my fish, I just want to show you. Um, I took the middle bone out of my fish because I want to stuff some veggies in here. So the bone takes up a lot of space and I, I don't get to put enough veggie that I would like. So what I did is I took the bone out and I'm just going to slice this down a little bit more here. You know. Now you want to take your seasoning and you want to just mix a little bit here before you apply it. And you want to just brush it evenly on the inside of the fish. So I've done this recipe with a piece of um, a red snapper and it came out awesome. This is my first time using the gray snapper. So we will find out together how. And now we'll just close that back up there and we'll brush a little bit on the outside. Now we'll just flip it on the other side and we'll just brush again some seasoning on that side. So you just want to brush the seasoning upwards against the scale. So it will, um, you know, it, I find that it holds the seasoning better this way. We are going to just, I'm just going to wrap this a little bit here. And I'm going to allow it to sit for about an hour and a half to two hours. And then I'll come back and I will show you guys the next step. Now, the remaining seasonings that you have here, you don't have to throw it out if you have any. It's not a problem if you don't have any. But if you do, just place it on the side. We'll use this in a bit. After you're done seasoning your fish and it's resting there, we'll work on the spinach. Now, I just want to show you how I prepare my spinach. I'm just going to cut off the leaves and try to get the, you know, the big ones. I usually leave this back here. I, I steam it whenever I have um, anything that I want to use. I'll steam it during the week with something else. But if you don't want to waste it like that, you can use everything out from there. You can use all the leaves. It's not a problem. I just using the big leaves just get make my job easier. Now it depends on the type of spinach you get or the type of bok choy you get. How big they are. That's how much you will need or how big you will like the stuffing to be. That's how much you will need. I am actually going to be using like about four bundle here, but these are really large. They're not that small and, and, and tiny. Now I am going to go wash these and I will be right back. Now, after you finish washing your bok choy, you're gonna turn your stove on to, and I'm gonna go in 
with about two tablespoons of oil here and when your oil come up to a nice warm temperature you add in your pak choy we just want to soften it up a bit so when we're ready to roll it it's not going to fight me back and i don't want them to break up into pieces too they usually split and tear just spread them out like this on the in the pan and we're just going to cover it and allow it to soften up i'm also going to add in a little bit of um complete seasoning here about a teaspoon or so guys and now we'll cover it and allow it to soften up a bit so guys i'm going to check on my pot choy now and this is after about two minutes or so guys i'm just going to remove them from the oil now that they soften up now to the same oil we'll go in with all the rest of the veggies we have here we want these to soften up a bit too so we're not adding any seasoning salt to this guys we're keeping it very simple very simple we just want the veggies to soften up as well so what i usually do to test the veggies when i have the right texture is i just pull one of the carrots like this and I just roll it a bit like this to make sure it's flexible enough. And now that this is nice and soft in here, I'm just going to turn my stove off. And we will head back over to the counter and I will show you the next step. So guys, to my board here, I am going to layer my spinach. I'm going to lay out my bok choy. And I'm going to try to get it to the length of the fish. Just make sure you get enough on top of each other so it doesn't um, like break apart when you're trying to roll it. And of course you want to wait until it's nice and cool down before you layer it here. Now you want to take all the veggies you have and just pour it on top here. And now we'll spread this out evenly. And now for the magic, you want to roll this and create a log. This is why we had to soften the veggies, guys, so it would roll and it wouldn't fight us back. Just make sure you pick up from the bottom and roll again. See, we're just creating a log here. So now that we have our log here, I'm going to bring my fish. Now we're just going to open this up here and we're going to be gentle when we pick our spinach up. And we just want to place it in the middle like way down here in the middle of the fish and to that now we will brush on some of that seasoning and we're just going to like roll this over here like so and we're going to tie this together so i will be right back just grabbing myself some butcher twine now to that you want to place your butcher twine in the bottom here and we will start tying this. We're going with the seam of the fish here, if you can see. Once you got that there in place, you're gonna just tie this out here. And there you go. Now, depending on how long the fish is, you'll need more twine. But for this part, for this piece here, I'm only using about three, uh, four pieces of twine. Just keep this in place here make it nice and neat now when you get to the top it might be a little bit difficult to keep that part there in place so guys as you can see the way i tie it here you want to try keep that nice shape or neatness in the front you know it works best for um presentation and now the remaining seasonings that i have because of how i you know handle the fish the seasoning just some of them probably just rub off so I'm just gonna go back in here with some always try to brush against the scale guys so it you know it just holds the seasoning better now for this part once you have your fish all prepped you're going to preheat your oven to 375 degree and we will bake this until we have a nice golden brown look on the top I will tell you the exact time I take it out of the oven or how long I cooked it for. 
So now that my oven is preheating, I'll just transfer my fish to this baking pan here. So guys, I just transfer my fish here to this baking pan. And I'm going to go place this in the oven. My oven is already preheated. So I'm just going to create like a little barrier here so that the, um, the juice doesn't leak out in the pan. So guys, we'll place this in the oven and I will see you guys back in a few. So guys, after 40 minutes of baking, this is what we left with here. And now you want to just pick up some of the sauce on the bottom and just brush it on the top so that it looks nice and juicy. So guys, here is the final result of our fish. I hope you enjoy this recipe and I hope you give it a try. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipe. I will see you in my next video.